their behaviour can be a little quirky, but it's no match for the scientists who study them. I've got to say, this is a fairly absurd way to spend the afternoon, sitting in the back of a ute, trolling for a goshawk. But it's all for a good cause. For science. Science. <laughs> Seriously, he's not kidding. He has done this a hundred times. Lured a goshawk into super close range with a stuffed rat that he bought in a toy store. Goshawks are ambush predators who prefer to hang out in the forest. But roadways like this offer perfect opportunities for picking off a fairly easy meal. They just sit there patiently and when something comes along they appear, that gives us an opportunity for us to be able to see the, the bird. Right. So we can check for bands. If it's unbanded, we'll, we'll attempt to capture it and put a band on it. Yep. But that helps us with uh, understanding their biology. Uh, but it's really interesting to look at the demographics of it, the, the sex ratios and the age structure. So it's really important for conservation to understand that. Now, catching goshawks for what it's worth is easier said than done. But eventually, an unbanded juvenile appears and gives itself up for the cause. So we'll get some bands on here. Gotta watch the talons. Um, once they grab hold, uh, it's like a ratchet system in their ligaments. Uh, when you get nailed, um, mm -hmm. it hurts. Banding allows an individual bird to be identified and monitored for the rest of its life with no further physical interference. You can just see the colours from a distance using binoculars. And weighing quickly gives our scientists so, a rough um, indication of health when compared to body condition. 290 with the bag. Doesn't weigh very much. But the females are twice as heavy as this, so um, they're up to 500 grams. So. Whether it's juvenile or adult, they're much the same weight. Right. Uh, the difference is, is the plumage. Young birds have a speckled appearance, whereas adults are reddish and grey. The intensity of the colour in the plumage is brightest during the, the breeding season and the more colourful you are and the brighter you are then the more likely you're going to get a, a suitable mate. Their eyebrows are really hooded aren't they? Yeah, they are visors so they can uh, not blinded by the light above in the forest trying to look down so they don't want any sun in their eyes. So. Right, have they got that third eyelid that comes across as yep. well? Yeah, nictitating membrane. Basically it's a transparent membrane so they can yeah. see all the time. So it's like transparent eyelids that, um, so they can f be flying along and keeping their eye on a prey and they yeah. never lose sight of it. Wow. All the time. <laughs> what do you love about these gorgeous animals? Uh, they're just so approachable, very bold, and just so easy to work on. They've got a bit of character about them. And so easy to handle, robust, so just a beautiful thing.